What's up guys, Tommy H here, and welcome back to another Jurassic World 2 discussion video. Today we are going to be talking about a Dilophosaurus Rex showing up in Jurassic World 2. So if you guys remember the picture a few weeks back of a Dilophosaurus showing up in Jurassic World 2, then you will understand why I am making this video. So I touched upon this a bit yesterday, but after looking a bit more into this Dilophosaurus and seeing some comparisons of the old T-Rex, the old Dilophosaurus, and of course this new Dilophosaurus, quote unquote, I've kind of come to the conclusion that this is a hybrid. Now if you look at this Dilophosaurus, you will notice that the face is completely different than the original Dilophosaurus that we saw in Jurassic Park and even in Jurassic World. And this face does look very similar to the baby T-Rex we saw in the Lost World, so this could be a developing Dilophosaurus Rex, this could be a baby or a juvenile Dilophosaurus Rex, so as the movie progresses, this Dilophosaurus Rex would grow to tremendous heights and would become very large, very similar to the size of the T-Rex. And if you think about it, if this is actually a Dilophosaurus Rex, this would be amazing news. We've been wondering what hybrid will be in Jurassic World 2, especially the carnivorous ones, and a Dilophosaurus Rex in Jurassic World 2 would be a very terrifying, very dangerous hybrid. I've always thought that mix of a T-Rex and a Dilophosaurus would be absolutely amazing. You get the size, the power, the bite force, the hunting skills of the T-Rex, and then you get the venomous ink of the Dilophosaurus. But just imagine a fully grown T-Rex with flaps around its neck, and then you have the T-Rex roar at you with its flaps just vibrating. We saw a Dilophosaurus roar in Jurassic Park, and I'm pretty sure most of you guys thought that was horrifying, so just imagine a T-Rex roar behind that. And if you guys are not convinced that this may be a Dilophosaurus Rex, let's look back to the facial features of this Dilophosaurus. So like I said earlier, this looks like a baby T-Rex's face, so let's compare that face of this Dilophosaurus to the face of the original Dilophosaurus in Jurassic Park. You will notice a complete change in facial features. The original Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park has a much skinnier face, and this Dilophosaurus that we are seeing right here has a much wider face, and the jaws are completely different as well. Now obviously we have not seen the full body of this Dilophosaurus, but just judging by its face, it definitely does look to be a Dilophosaurus Rex, or some type of weird hybrid. If this is not a Dilophosaurus Rex, then it clearly is a redesigned Dilophosaurus. Let's take away the crest, for example. On your screen right now, put your hands on the crest of the Dilophosaurus, covering the top of its head. Now look at the face of this dinosaur. That kind of looks like a T-Rex to me, I don't know about you guys. You might be saying, well, Colin Trevorrow and J.A. Bayana will not be going this far, and that is a pretty good point. However, they have been saying that Jurassic World 2 will be a much darker, much scarier version than Jurassic World was, and they also said it will be calling back to the original. So a good way to call back to the original Jurassic Park would be mixing a T-Rex, the most legendary dinosaur in the Jurassic Park franchise, and a Dilophosaurus, one of the most horrifying dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park series. But until we get more confirmation that this is a Dilophosaurus Rex, I will just assume that this is a normal Dilophosaurus, but it's kind of interesting to see the facial features of this dinosaur, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys think this is a Dilophosaurus Rex, or just a normal Dilophosaurus, possibly redesigned? Leave this all in the comment section below, and if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe, and as always guys, leave a like, and have a nice day.